Holy shit, tech fans. That's right. The day has finally fucking arrived where I have RX Vega in-house, in my hands, and ready to test and bring you guys all the scoring. And I want to say right off the bat, I think you guys will be pretty impressed when you guys see the full review when this thing comes out on Monday. For today, though, all I can do is unbox the brand new RX 64 Vega, which I've got right here inside this box. I don't know which one it is. I'm really praying it's the water-cooled version, but I probably won't get that lucky. Now, the Vega 56, it only came in a static bag, so no real unboxing for that. And for you folks out there just going, oh my God, why isn't there your scores? Be patient, they're right around the corner. But for now, let's see what's in the box of the RX Vega 64. So I've got it right here in front of me. Not a whole lot to the box. It doesn't even say anything on it. It just has this on the front. You spin it around, it's just got a little bit more nomenclature, not very much whatsoever. You're not gonna really worry anything if you don't see anything like that. Um, I think it's kind of interesting though. We've got a little side little thing here. Check it out, a little side little thing. Kabloom, bloom, bloom, pops off the side. But me, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the box first. So we'll get this out of the box. Kaboom, take it like that, throw it the cameraman. Now we'll spare him. He's been a good kid lately. All right, so now the whole, the whole box is falling apart. I'm trying to get it so we can unveil it. So here it goes, check it out. Maybe we can like slow-mo this shit. Oh shit, holy shit. All right, folks, now check this out. I've never gotten any review sample from anybody before that came with a cool little thing like this. It's almost like an award cube with the nice Vega logo inside there. Gotta say, it looks pretty badass and it's gonna look pretty badass on my desk and my shelf. All in all, it's very solidly made, has nice little feet on the bottom to set it on there. And if you guys can see closely, it does say right on it, Radeon Vega something very interesting, a talk piece at the very least. And what's really cool is I'm looking through it as I'm looking down, it actually magnifies everything so you can use it as a magnifying glass as well. So it's got two uses. Then after that, we've got a little booklet right here. Let me open it up right here. Now inside this booklet, it's got just a lot of different facts about Vega. Just all kinds of different facts. And for you, and for you folks out there who keep asking about by, why I'm shaking, I've explained it before. I have permanent nerve damage from getting a pick line stuck into my heart and killing me in the hospital. And that's why I shake so much. So please, no mean comments. But check it out, all kinds of information on this. Just, just more cool stuff in the box. Now, over to the other side, in the far left-hand side, I have one more thing. I'll put it up here to the camera real quick so you guys can see it. But there's a little thing right here, and I'm gonna pop the top here, and we'll see what actually is, comes inside of this as well. Ooh, oh, cool shit, all right, so check this out. Oh, this, is, this stuff's cool, dude, okay. So, we've got basically the GPU wafer right here. This is, this is actually fucking really cool. You get a blank GPU wafer. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the shit inside this box this time, just cool stuff. Got ourselves a nice bracelet, so let's just go ahead and let's put that motherfucker on right now. So I go to the gym and somebody asks what it is, I'll be like, back up, punk, it's my Vega bracelet, biatch. So there you go. Also, lots of other cool stuff, man. Stickers up the yim yam. So if you folks out there who totally dig stickers and all that stuff, well, guess what? Inside the box, they be some stickers. Now, there's most likely not gonna be any driver whatsoever inside this box because the drivers are gonna be under NDA and off the, off the AMD website. We'll have all those soon. So we got another box inside of a box, your box section going on. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cap on this. Pop a cap in your ass. Ah, well, it's the air cooled version, but I'm not going to whine. It's still cool. It's also quite a bit heavy. Feels pretty gnarly too. So check it out. Black and red design. So when the card actually comes out, I guess we're not gonna see that gray design that we've been seeing everything before. And it's kind of funny because even those picture books that we were looking at, this little thing right here, it showed the card in gray. But you guys can see, Single fan design, this is the reference model. I have talked to a few other companies, Gigabyte and Asus, and they all do have like their own models of these coming out as well, so that will be very interesting. But for right now, we have a single fan on top. The card's about nine and a half inches long. It's a two slot design, typical like card that you see on most of the cards on the market. We have two eight pin power connectors right here. We'll talk about all the specs and everything, like I said, when the NDA lists on Monday. For now, I'm kind of limited to what I can show you and what I can tell you, but I'm trying to tell you as much as I can. Um, you guys will notice that the card's completely sealed though too. In the front and all around, the card is completely sealed. I mean, all the way around the card. Now, what's also cool is you have a bio switch that's right here up on top. I'll try to 
get a little close up of that shot, but there's a little switch right up here for, for your BIOS and stuff. And what this actually does, I believe, is it will allow you to turn it on to a mode that actually runs like much cooler. We'll talk about all these things, like I said, when the NDA lifts, but it's gonna be a pretty interesting fact. And, and, and also, now in the back of the car, now they don't have a totally outrageous rear shield, but it's still nice. And what's also really nice is over here, there's a little button that allows you to actually change the color of the card. So you can change the color on the card from red to blue. And I think that's pretty sporting of the folks over at AMD to allow a blue color, because if somebody does have an Intel-based system and they want to match the color up to all blue, they'll still be able to do it and use an AMD card. So I give a thumbs up to that. And the rear I.O. is also something a little different that we normally see. It's three display ports and a single HDMI port, and gone is the DVI totally gone it's no longer there whatsoever so all right tech fans so there you have it the rx vega 64 in all of its glory stick around to the channel because we'll have the full review coming this monday for all you happy campers out there and like i said i think you're going to be pretty happy with what you see i'm elric you've been watching tech tomorrow we'll see you guys for more tech tomorrow and we'll see you back here on the channel for the full review next week peace